One thing that I try to get across to my students, especially since they're young songwriters, is that the process of songwriting is different for everyone. You don't necessarily just start at the beginning, get to the middle, and then get to the end. So with that approach in mind, we're gonna continue working a little backwards here because today we're gonna to look at the intro. I've already moved some things around so that I have an open A section, and now I wanna start recording with the bass. Today, we're gonna to use the notes view for our bass. This is a view of what the instrument actually looks like. I've already labeled the strings, G, D, A, and E, and by tapping on these letter names, that is the sound of the open string. I'm looking for a specific sound that I couldn't find through an autoplay pattern, which is why we're using the notes view. I've labeled exactly where I wanna tap with two of these emojis. When I record, I'm going to count one and, two and, three and, four and, and on the and of four is where I'm going to switch. I'm only gonna record for four bars. Let's turn the metronome on. So there you have it. We were able to create a four bar intro to our project using the notes view of the bass.